right, everybody. So uh, this is the Screencast-O-Matic, and this is what I use. Uh, you can do uh, this uh, screen sharing uh, for completely free. And the only uh, reason that you have to pay, so you can make free, free screen share videos, but if you uh, don't want their logo on the bottom right hand corner, then you can pay $15 for the entire year and it takes off their logo too. So that's what I do. It's 15 bucks for the whole year. Uh, but you don't have to. You can just keep the screencast o -matic, um uh, logo on your videos. So anyways, you're going to uh, log in and uh, basically just go to my videos and you're going to hit start recorder right here. This is how simple it is. Okay. So you're going to hit start uh, recorder and <laughs> what's really funny is you can see that this is recording number 182. So I've been using this for probably a good five, six years. Uh, so there are a few videos on there. Um, so just hit start recorder and you are going to actually see a, a screen border pop up on your computer and you're going to be able to adjust the border um, that people will view. Uh, it shows you exactly what is being recorded so you can make that screen smaller or bigger uh, depending on what exactly you're trying to show. And then um, you'll see on the bottom left hand corner when you try this for the first time there's a little red button and you just type or, or just hit that button to start recording and then you hit that button again uh, or actually it's a pause button uh, the big blue button at the bottom left hand of your screen and you'll hit that to pause the recording and then you tell it where to send it either to your desktop or to YouTube. It is so insanely easy to use. Uh, you will absolutely love this program and especially for free. I mean you really can't beat it. But anytime that you want to teach your team how to uh, do something in the back office or log in or find a customer special or set up a Facebook group, all of those things that that actually would go way faster if you were actually just showing them how to do it. Uh, this is what you want to use in order to do that. And I highly suggest keeping all of these, uh, make sure the titles are very, very specific. You want these to be searchable so that you can use them again and again and again. And um, most of these are going to be uh, for your team and might have like, you know, privy information that you don't want public. So make sure that you're being conscious about whether you're putting these as public videos or as um, unlisted. I do most of these unlisted and then I can search them on my own YouTube account and I'll always have access uh, to them here as long as you make an account with Screencast-O-Matic which is really great. I can always go um, to um, all of my uh, recordings and uh, manage all of those at any time. So very fun.